I take off her hat and then she had like a little like napkin wrapped up in her hat. <laughs> what? And it fell out. She was so embarrassed. I was like, <laughs> everyone was like, what is that? I'm like nervous. I've never been on a podcast before. This but- is how Franny drinks her water. Yeah. Stay hydrated, kids. And then she does this. <laughs> I don't know why you do that. That was freaking weird. What's up, guys? Welcome to the podcast. What's up? Welcome, Franny. Woo! This is my freaking. Hey. You're my fourth guest. Really? Yeah, you're my Yay. fourth guest. Let's so go. I'm still pretty new. You're fresh. Everything is still pretty new. I'm really excited. I was going to say fresh off the boat, and I was like, this. That's weird. Yeah. No, it's my fingernails, dude. Shut Are you sure? Yeah, look. You freaking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, the reason why I wanted to have you on the podcast is one, you were the first person to come up to me and be like, Seb, I want to be in your pocket. Oh, great. So <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> okay. We're back. First off, Bobby's back and he interrupted. Bobby, show yourself over here for two seconds. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. We thought we were hearing things, but I was right. So this guy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways, okay. Quick thingy. Now I have to start my timer again because I'm freaking Bobby. I'm freaking pissed, yo. Okay. Here we go. Start the timer again. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm here with Franny. Franny, thanks for tagging along. Of course. Dude, this is freaking sick. I think you're the second girl on the podcast. You're the first, bleh, can't speak, fourth person to do this. That's and exciting. Um, I want to talk about you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, your nervous tick. I know. I, it's, I think it's coughing. Are you, but do you usually get nervous like in interviews or anything? This isn't an interview because we're friends, so it's not going to be like, <laughs> I'm not going to ask you the most intense questions ever. No, interviews make me really nervous. Why? And it, I think because this is set up like, an, I don't know, because, <clears throat> see? Podcast over. You see, I, I get nervous. Drink your water. I think it might be it's too cold and you let it sit for a You're minute. too much. <laughs> I'm... Too m- what, Bob, what do you say I am? Too too much maintenance or something? You're high maintenance. Oh, high maintenance. There You're high maintenance. He co- says I'm high maintenance. I think I am too. <laughs> Anyways, okay. I want to talk about you. I want to talk about all the things you've done lately. Okay. You have been freaking killing it because two days ago, you launched your song Crazy. Yes, I did. Dude, how do you feel about that? I am so excited so the music video dropped two days ago but actually today it dropped on apple music spotify and itunes dang what's up check it out yeah i'm so excited it i think this song i think i'm more excited there you go don't worry i think i'm more excited about dropping this one than my last single because i think this song crazy is more of the lane i want to go for music yeah and um don't get me wrong i was very excited to release again because it was my first single but Um, I don't know. I think I'm just trying to find my sound right now and I think I found it. So dude, I was like really nervous. I was bopping to it on the gym today. I was like really? working out. Yeah, dude. Because you posted it on your Instagram. So I was like, oh, I might check it out anyways. So I checked it out. <laughs> I was like, yeah, what's up? I'm a good friend. I'm like, I might, might, I'm interviewing her. Like the least I could do is check out the song. Just listen to it, you know, get an idea. Dude, I heard, I was freaking impressed. Like that was a good song. Like it felt Thank like, you. No, no joke. It's not like, like, you know, some YouTubers put up songs and you're just like, oh, yikes. Like cringy. Yeah. yeah. But this was freaking good. Thank you. Like, yeah. it sounded like an artist. Like, you know, you just came off of like Atlantic Records or something like that. So that's the, that is the goal. That's what I'm trying to get to. Dude, let's talk but, about goals. Wait, you said, but what do you want to talk about? But uh, I forgot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yes, it's OK. Oh, wait, I wanted to mention this. Your song Crazy has Spanish in mm-hmm. it. And I, what? I was like, oh, she went a little spicy on me. Were you like not expecting that? You were just like. <laughs> not at all. No one was expecting it. All the comments that I'm getting are like, are like, Franny, what? You threw me off with the Spanish. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, hell yeah. I was like, she's going to put up another song called Loquita instead of Crazy. <laughs> Loquita. I don't know. But dude, it was such a good song. And I think the reason why I was really impressed that you put Spanish in it is because you're not afraid to show your Latin side. Mm-mm. I think there's a lot of Latinos who are afraid to, not afraid, but they kind of like push away their Latin side and become more Americanized. And the fact that you even made the intention of stepping forward into, you know, speaking Spanish. Look, I speak Spanish, but I don't speak it well. Yeah, me either. And that that was, that was the biggest thing is because 
you know, I am Latina. I'm Colombian and Puerto Rican. What's and up? Yeah. Mamacita repping. right there. <laughs> and I really, I really wanted to do something. Like I wanted to put Spanish lyrics in the song. I mm-hmm. did not want to do a full Spanish song just because, I don't know. I, I feel like then that's, I feel like that's going above and beyond, I yeah. guess, which is, which is okay. Like I, I want to do it eventually, but I feel like right now just doing the few like lines kind of yeah. transitioning into Latin music. Let's go. I'm, you know, I really wanted to do it. I'm really happy Dude, that everyone loved it. So good. Yeah. So good. I think I was actually going to ask you this, but out of like both songs, which one was harder to produce? Hmm. Okay. So, so actually crazy. And again, we're done in the same session. Really? Yes. What? And it was crazy because they sent me, okay, so they showed me these two songs. They showed Mm -hmm. me again, and I I loved again. I was like, oh, I love this song, whatever. And then Crazy was shown to me, but originally it was was not Latin at all. There was no Spanish in it, but it was actually Guy singing it, and there was rapping in it. What the heck? So when they showed me the song, I was like, oh my God, I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I don't want to rap. But the producers like, um, the producers were like, we really love this song. I think we can probably, we can change it. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll, you know, we can rewrite it and make it all singing. And I told them I want some Spanish in it. They're like, okay, we'll try and incorporate Spanish. So we sat down, you know, we're figuring it out, rewriting yeah. it and stuff. And, um, how long did that take? Um, a few hours. We were in the studio for a while. I think it took us two sessions to do everything, like two two days. I yeah. think, but it was yeah. It I think I guess crazy might might have taken a little longer just yeah. because we had to tweak it a bit to yeah. kind of fit my style. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, when I first heard crazy, I was like, uh, I don't know if <laughs> I like this. Really? Yeah, I didn't. Dude, know I like it more than again. Yeah, me too. Because it's insane. more my. It's like my. It's like my lane that I want to go. And like I said, like, I'm just so happy I recorded it and actually like, you know, heard myself on the track because if I didn't, I would have missed out on a on a song that I loved. Dude. And it's like, it's just not only is this song going to relate to so many, like just, I guess the American culture, Mm -hmm. but you're reaching out to such a huge audience, like Latino wise. Mm -hmm, Yeah. Like I just came back from Chile and all my cousins are just like, why don't you have a Spanish channel? Like the Latino communities ten <laughs> what I've learned is that apparently like the Latino communities are ten times more fan like. They're more like passionate. No, they're way more dedicated. Yeah. The the I know the Latin fan base, especially South America, Central America, they're just so so dedicated yeah. to you know to who they look up to and stuff and it's it's awesome have you ever been to south america or latin america um i've been to colombia but when i was very very little you so i haven't come back i haven't been there in so long i want to go so badly um i was i went to puerto rico though when i was like a baby so i haven't been in a while actually yeah. and i really want to go back dude it's awesome i like even so I have like 30,000 subscribers mm-hmm. and I was just like, oh, I might as well try to do a meetup, see what happens and all that stuff. Like seven people showed up, but like that's from like 30,000. So like you have freaking how many? Like 400,000? Yeah, I have like 420 something thousand. Dude, there's going to be so many people. If you went Wait, to Wait, how Latin many people America, showed up? Like what? seven, but out of 30,000. Oh, okay. Which is like still good. Like because yeah. I don't speak any Spanish in my videos. <laughs> yeah. So the fact that they came that is a, like. Yeah, that if you shut up. I was like, how do you understand cool. the, thing I'm, the things I can't even speak? <laughs> I should just quit the podcast. <laughs> um, no, but I was just like, how do you. They were like, oh, we take English classes and all that stuff. And we just found you guys. That's cool. And all that stuff. But anyways, I actually wanted to ask you about because knowing you, you're very passionate about your music. Like. Mm-hmm. You know, you do YouTube and all that stuff and it's fun and it's cool, but you're really concentrating on music. So one of the other questions I had is like, why are you, why are you, great, I like this. Why are you pursuing music and what motivated you to take the first step to uh, get into the industry? Um, Okay, so I actually have always wanted to pursue music since Mm -hmm. I was very, very little. Um, And it all started because I was obsessed with Britney Spears when I was like, six years old Are yeah i was obsessed with her music videos and i would always just like sit in front of the tv and dance to them and sing to them and i didn't even know i could sing um i found out that i could sing um when i was i think like 13 or 12 or 13 in music class mm-hmm. in my elementary or middle school um but then you know i started taking vocal lessons at that age and i was taking guitar lessons and Dude, let's go and i was um 
I was performing at carnivals and festivals and like uh, little school performances and talent shows when I was little. Yeah, like music was like my thing. Like I was like, I thought that was my gift. Yeah, that was like what I want to do when I'm older. But when I got into high school, uh, sports kind of took over. So like I was really focusing on basketball and track and then I kind of deviated away from music, which kind of sucks that I took so many years off. How many years? <clears throat> like four? It was probably four or five years that wow. I just kind of stopped doing anything music wise. So yeah. And then when I moved out here to LA, I moved out here. I did not move out here to pursue music. I moved out here just for change. And really, <clears throat> I was literally about to ask you about that. Like yeah. just a whole LA move and great. Look how sloppy this is. <laughs> um, it's just like, wait one second. Um, I actually was going to ask you about your move because like, yeah, you said, you just answered my question. It was like, why are you like, why'd you come out to LA? Yeah, no, I just, I just came out here for change. I was not planning on pursuing YouTube, nothing. I literally just came out here to go to college and just find like a job. Like when I first moved out here, I was a waitress. So you went to college here in California? Yeah, I was going to college. I was taking like two or three classes a semester. I was going part time. What? Yeah. So, um, that's really why I moved out here. I was it was not to really do anything at that time. I was really into makeup and like fashion, and I still am. But um, you know, I wanted to, I was going to school for business. I want to open. I want to eventually actually start my own cosmetic line and Let's stuff, go. skincare line. We got an entrepreneur. Here. <laughs> so yeah, so it when moving out here was like a it was just like a big just life change for me. I, mm-hmm. I was tired of living in a small town in Jersey and. Um, just being around all these artistic people, people who are acting, people who are pursuing music, you know, doing videos and stuff. You know, I was like, why can't I just pursue music again? Yeah. Like, I just missed it a lot. And then, um, you know, this Univision project was kind of offered to me. You know, I right before I signed to this project, I was actually slowly starting getting into music again. Yeah. I was slowly, you know, trying to get into studios and work with different producers. But then this project was, you know, was like presented, kind of presented to me and... They were just kind of like, oh, Freddie, do you want to be a part of it? Da, da, da. Like you get to record songs and live in this house with these girls. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Like it's yeah. weird how like it all kind of fell into place. Like, And it comes <clears throat> back to what you initially desired to do. Yeah, it's really weird. Like it, this was ha- this was presented to me right when the lease was up when I was living with the guys. OK. And it was right when I was starting to work on music again. So I was like, you know what? Why not? It's six, yeah. it's for six months. I honestly have nothing to lose. And. I get to work on music and I'm like, so I'm so thankful that I'm able to do it, you know? So now I really am focusing on music and, you know, I'm still doing my YouTube videos. I still love making videos. Um, But yeah. Dude, that is freaking sick, dude. That was a great (laughs) answer. You're a great podcast guest. (laughs) Yay. That was sick. Um, Okay. Here's another question I'm about to whip out on you. Oh man. Okay. Check this out. So I want to know what your music means to you and what do you want it to mean for other people? Whoa, that's a really intense question. Um, I mean, you just started, so I guess you're just learning about it, right? Yeah, like like I said, I'm trying to really, I'm really trying to find my sound and mm-hmm. like really the kind of genre I want to go for and stuff. Um, but really, I just want my, I just want my music to be very like relatable mm-hmm. to my to my viewers and stuff and my fans. I, I want them, you know, when they listen to my song, I want them, I want them to be able to think of someone and be like, oh wow, like that, you know just as relatable as me or something and that's even like me with my youtube videos when i film my youtube videos i try and be you know relatable and i I want people to watch my videos and be like oh like you know franny has pimples franny's not a skinny tiny model franny wears sweatshirts franny wears sweatpants like let's go i just i just want people to be relate like i want people to just i guess i want to be a role model to people and that's that's like my biggest thing and that's what i want people to see through my music too is just like I go through the same problems as mm-hmm. everyone else. Like I'm not perfect. Mm-hmm. So that's what I really try and. Has it been hard being a role model in that <clears throat> like industry, the music industry or no? Um. Well, in the music industry, it's kind of just since it's starting, I don't really know, but just in this industry. In I want to gen- talk about something. Oh God, go for it. <laughs> okay. Cause the reason I asked that is cause you told me something really funny uh, right before we started what? the podcast. And I was just like, don't say it. Like wait for the podcast. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, <laughs> your mom, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, can I just hear that story of like, because like, like you said, like, 
so many people relate to love stories and all that stuff and you want people to relate to some type of love story that yeah. you're expressing through your oh, song oh like my music video thing? yeah your music yeah, video yeah, yeah, yeah. so my parents yeah, let's it was go. so funny because like um crazy music video obviously it was very like crazy <laughs> it was yeah i was crazy for this guy mm-hmm. and a lot of people I feel like a lot of people, some people didn't understand the video. So it's basically me being crazy for this guy and I'm kind of like a rebel and I'm bringing him along yeah. on my bad, you know, my my bad ideas of robbing and yeah. doing all this stuff. And my mom, I remember my mom and my dad, well, first of all, my dad was like, Franny, why are you kissing the guy so much? <laughs> da, da, da. And I'm like, okay, sorry, that was the director. Yeah. So don't blame me. And then my mom was like, Fran, like, why do you have to do like that bad stuff on camera? Like <laughs> robbing, like why can't it be happy? And I'm like, mom, that's not like, that's not what, it, that's and, not what the song is about. And it's, it's not like, you. It's just an, <laughs> like a reenactment of what the song is like. Yeah. It's, it's, it's being an artist, being like an actress, you know, like you, you're playing a role that you aren't, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm playing a role of being a robber and a bad person. And it's just yeah. so funny. Cause it's like, my parents obviously are like, why do you have to do that? I'm like, Mom, it's I'm just acting. It's not real. I'm not actually robbing places. Like, and it's so funny because you know how many people commented on my music video like, Freddie, did you rob the Ace family's house? <laughs> no way. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> they were like, they were like, oh my God, like, are you trying to tell us something? And I'm like, uh, first of all, this yeah. was filmed before I think yeah. that Ace Family's house was robbed, but they were like, are you trying to say something to us? I'm like, yeah. everyone just takes everything to the extreme. Dude, like, I'm like, yeah. are you kidding me? <laughs> By the way, the Ace Family, they're like these YouTubers who, because for anyone who does, who's watching this and doesn't know what we do, the Ace Family are like these YouTubers and they recently got their house robbed and all that stuff. Yeah. And that's why she's mentioning the Ace Family thing. Yeah, if, yeah if you don't, the Ace Family is a, a vlog, like a family vlog channel. Yeah. And they, yeah, their house got broken into and everyone thought that I was the culprit of it, but I would, did not, I did not do that. <laughs> you're already here on the first, <laughs> you're here on the podcast. I'm clearing my name right now. <laughs> Dude, can I actually ask, uh, I, no, actually what I really loved what you just said, it was like you're acting in a song. And I think one of the cool things about music is that, um, your own music and even going back and looking to your music video it enables you to dream um and your music enables you to make your dreams a reality whether that's through a music video whether that's through Mm -hmm. uh telling your story or anything like that i think that's i just wanted to point that out that i never thought of it like that where like music or songs can make certain um things dreams come to reality yeah no it's cool because like like I said, like a song called crazy of me yeah. being like, just create like, obviously it's not who you are. Yeah. Like obviously like I, I, I do relate to the song. Like I am, you know, you could be crazy about someone yeah, it's just like freaking weird, yo. <laughs> <laughs> like you can be, you know, just like, Oh man, I really like that guy. Did it up. But yeah. obviously you want to elaborate on it and exactly. just go above and beyond and like be a robber and do that. And Dude. it's cool. Yeah, it is cool. It was a cool experience. Cause also I'm not an actress. Mm-hmm. So would you ever want to jump into that? I actually have been thinking about it. I've been taking a few acting classes, okay. like improv classes and stuff like going. And Dude, I suck at improv. <laughs> I so bad. I can't even lie. Really? Like I like I tried to lie to Bobby all the time and Bobby's like, you just freaking lied to my face. I'm like, yes, I did. I'm sorry. You just admit to it right away. You yeah. don't even try. Because I just suck at lying. Like I'm so bad at it. And I feel like acting is kind of like lying. A little bit? Not really? Yeah. I, I, yeah, a little bit. I just, I'll smirk. I'll like laugh. I'll snort. Like if I'm trying to act like you to can't, someone. Like you can't be serious. Dude, I can't even force myself to cry. Like there's no way. Even like. Oh my God, that, that's something that um, at the end of the improv class that I was going to is like being vulnerable and crying. Yeah. It's so intense. Did you do it? Yeah. It's so intense. No, check out. I'm I know. It's so intense. I like, because you kind of have to go to a place where you are vulnerable where like Mm -hmm. you're you know like kind of like oh like i don't you know you you start saying stuff that makes you sad like Mm -hmm. a bad memory a bad past or something that triggers you and you kind of have to repeatedly say it over and over again and you just start bawling your eyes out of a class of 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 people and no way yeah no it's it's intense dude have you ever it gave me anxiety to be (laughs) honest with you please don't don't cry on the podcast (laughs) like this is the last thing i need right now she's like shh Shoot. I just I start crying. <laughs> Triggered. Dude, have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror while you cried? I can't, I remember like, I can't remember the last time I saw myself crying in the mirror or saw myself crying. I think, I don't know. I think when I cry, I try not to look at myself in the yeah. mirror just because it's like, 
I just know I look ugly. <laughs> I just know I'm like all red and like like boogers going down my face and like tears Dude, at least down. you don't have a mustache if i have boogers coming down my face <laughs> those boogers are staying right Ew. here dude i'm sorry <laughs> dude but yeah that's so weird i never thought of it like that and dude good for you that you're doing acting yeah i actually wanted to you said something earlier about uh you used to go to carnivals and perform your music and stuff one of the cool things from that uh that just triggered me to think again was like that's very similar to Selena, not Selena Gomez, but Selena, the other. Selena, yeah. Yeah, Selena. That's right. Sorry. I'm Latino. <laughs> Thanks Latina. For, okay. <laughs> Latina. <laughs> she just checked me. She was just like, excuse Selena. me, Selena. Sorry. Dude, there's so many Selena fans. They're like, it's not Selena. It's Selena. Selena. I'm like, look, I never listened to her. So <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so anyways, I think that's really, dude, would you, would you ever because Selena she never spoke Spanish like she like yeah. she didn't speak like she spoke very little and then she just blew up so do you Singing think Spanish music yeah. exactly so would you see yourself like and I don't know I mean you just started this journey and mm -hmm. it, you're already killing it would you ever think of doing a Latino album soon or something like that um yeah I'm I'm not opposed to doing like full Spanish songs yeah. but like I said I just want I think I'm just trying to transition to it because a lot of my fans are in, like you know English yeah. speaking fans so you know I, I think transitioning to full Spanish songs would be a big jump but yeah. I definitely would want to do it like I'm not completely opposed to Dude. it like, and it's not like you just have to stick to Spanish like you could yeah. do English and Spanish yeah exactly and, and like I think that's one thing that I really want to do is keep doing like bilingual songs mm -hmm. just because like I feel like doing a little of both is is really cool it's fun and I feel like a lot of artists aren't doing bilingual it's like full Spanish or full English exactly yeah and like an artist that I really do look up to who that is kind of like me or kind of was like me is like Becky G oh Becky G you know she uh, when she first started doing Spanish music she could not really speak Spanish that well really? she was doing full blown Spanish songs yeah so um, she's an artist that I do look up to especially Dang. in the Latin world because she blew up in the Latin world wow because she tried for a long time I think blowing up here in America but she just blew up as a Latin artist and, and now she's doing songs with Pitbull yeah and all that no stuff. yeah she does tons of Latin songs now and um, but okay. yeah and her Spanish improved a lot though I have a question here mm -hmm. dream artist you'd love to work with Ooh, um, probably Kaylani. Really? Not I, Lainey? This girl loves Lainey. Oh, I love Lainey. But I feel like me on a song with Lainey would be a little awkward. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I band Lainey. I love Lainey so much. Um, mm -hmm. But for art, yeah, like a single artist, probably Kaylani. Really? I love Kaylani. Why? Just her sound and just she's a very real artist. Kaylani or Alessia Cara or Wait, Alicia Cara? Can I just mention like, Kalani, whatever Kalani, 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 whatever, Cologne. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Basically, her song popped up right after your song. I saw your song, so I saw your song, and then her song was right up next. Which one? I don't know. It was just like her. She was crying in the video, and I was just like, I don't know what this is. Oh. I didn't know who she was, but the reason why I was like, oh my gosh, is Kalani, because yeah. you mentioned her name, and I remember seeing her name right after your video popped yeah, up. Yeah, no, I That's love Kalani. I I think. And I think another artist that I really like is Alessia Cara or Alicia Cara. I hope I'm saying her name right. But the, they they are both artists that I look up to because they are very real. Mm -hmm. They're not like fake personas. Like they're very, you know, just honest, I feel like, in their music. And yeah. even as people on social media. Like, Dude, yeah. I, I hate just seeing fake people. That's basically it. Like I just love how real they are. Yeah. Through everything. So that's... Dude, that's sick. Okay, I want to talk about LA, right? Do you remember the first time you ever came to LA? Yes. And what hooked you on to being like, okay, I want to move to LA? Um, well, the first time I came to California was when I was like 14, 15, mm -hmm. and I was in Laguna Beach, and I stayed there for two weeks with, with my friend because her mom lived in Laguna Beach at the time, and we came to LA. That's a nice place to stay at. Yeah, Laguna Beach is one of my favorite places in California, um, but... I, we came to LA to like visit for the mm -hmm. day and I don't know there was just something about LA that it was just the weather yeah um just how like, it was just everything was so carefree like no one cared about what you looked like or what you like no one cared about like what you dressed like like you yeah. you could really show who you are in this yeah. in this city and no one's gonna judge you exactly and I feel like that's why I was so drawn to it also even though it's a place where you know you do feel pressure to look a certain way 
but you can dress however you want. Like, no one's going to exactly. look at you and be like, why are you wearing ripped jeans? Like, here, like, no one cares what you, like, dress no, like. No, because everyone know? tries to, like, make their own statement and yeah. stuff. So, you were, you were mentioning that you decided to go to college in California. Did you, was there anywhere else that you were about to go besides California? Or were you just set on going to California? Uh, just California. Really? Yeah, it was just, like... I couldn't see myself living in any other state. Like really? if, if I wasn't coming to California, I just would have stayed in Jersey. What do you miss of New Jersey? We're both East Coasters, by the way. I live in New York. New York She's New Jersey. Jersey yeah. What's up? <laughs> Let's go. Um, We're tough. Yeah. Ow. No, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, I, I honestly, there's not much that I miss of yeah. Jersey. It's probably just my friends. New Jersey is the armpit of the tri-state. <laughs> I probably just miss my friends. Really? Yeah, there's really nothing that I miss from Jersey. Like, everyone's just like, everyone else was just like, whatever to me. I just miss my friends. So you did know, you ever have like that desperation? Because like for me, I remember always having that desperate feeling of like going to LA and then come back and be like, this sucks. Like just feeling like, I just want to be back in LA. Did you ever feel like that? Yes. That like I came I came out to LA like three or four times three or four times on vacation um like when, between I was 17 and 18 years old I would come on vacation and I remember once leaving LA and I was crying on the plane. Dude, same. Because, Let's go. Cuz I didn't want to leave. I was like I don't want to go back to New Jersey. I don't want I want to I want to be here in LA. Like mm-hmm. everyone everyone just it just felt way more welcoming here than yeah. it did back at home. And it's like and everything that you wanted to pursue is just like you're able to reach arms it reach. here. Yeah, yeah, arms reach. And then like I just it's remember It's hard to pursue like something artistry in yeah. Jersey. Yeah. Even like dude, I lived Even in New, New York yeah. City. Yeah. And New York City was just like I would go to college in New York City and you would expect that like I mean Casey Neistat's killing it, but Casey Neistat's like he's, Casey Neistat. He's Casey Neistat. <laughs> but like just I remember being out in New York City and I'd just be like, well, n- I have no friends that do the same things that I want to do. I have uh it's really hard to film in New York City because everything costs money and Casey has He's balling. He's like a baller. Mm-hmm. So he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> Samsung, hook me up. Um, anyways, <laughs> dude, and I just remember having that feeling of just every time leaving LA being like, this really sucks. Like, this is one of the hardest things I've ever yeah. experienced in my Once life. Once I, I literally was leaving crying because I was like, I don't want to leave. Dude, I know. I totally get and you And I think that. that was the trip where I was like, I'm moving. Like, really? I have to, yeah. Was it like a year or like a month before you? <sighs> no, it was like, yeah, it was like, a summer it came and okay. I was actually planning like I wasn't even planning on moving here at the time when I got back from California mm-hmm. um I was just planning on going to a community college in Jersey yeah and then I was like no way like there's no way I'm doing this yeah. so I was like I took a semester off worked saved up just like mm-hmm two thousand dollars like barely anything and i moved out here dude good for but you but i lived on a couch for two thousand dollars dude right i'm on the same boat as you <laughs> i slept on a couch too for six months I an ikea couch, couch. And it was a pullout couch um but it was very uncomfortable like i had back problems after yeah no my couch was not a pullout couch it was just like one of those like modern like stiff couches i slept for six months okay almost six months mine was day. stiff too i'm not saying mine wasn't stiff but yeah i remember dude how much does it suck living on a couch were you in the living room and then like everyone just walks in it just sucks because it's like you have no privacy you have really nowhere to put your stuff like did any did anyone so. ever walk into you changing no no i always like changed in like the bathroom or okay. something yeah like i never just changed in the living room did anyone ever walk into you like sleeping on the couch oh yeah tons of times so many times tons I'd be, of times. every time like i would sleep on the couch the struggle was really was real dude i know like it would be like 8 a.m and like someone would just walk through the door I'd be like, oh, i'm awake and then they'd just be like, <laughs> I'm like, sorry, I don't know. It's just freaking, it's annoying, dude. It's yeah, annoying. It's just, it was just frustrating because obviously, but I am thankful that I was, you know, yeah. I did, I was able to be out here. And someone was able to even lend you their couch. Yeah. Like, that's the one exactly. thing I'm really grateful for. Like, yeah, my friend Brian, like he, he gave me, he was like, dude, just crash on my couch. And uh, as much as it sucked, I was like you said, I was so grateful that I was at least at the place where I wanted mm-hmm. to be. Yeah. And it's funny because like even like I look back at it, it's funny how we we always want more and we're like never like satisfied in a yeah. way. So we're like, oh, like like when I was at a couch sleeping on the couch, I was just grateful to be in L.A. A year passes by. I'm like, I'm in L.A. Now I need an apartment. Like I hate the couch, all that stuff. Yeah. And uh, I've just learned 
within this whole like just living in LA how grateful I am because there's so many kids around the US that want to be YouTubers that want to be artists that want to be actors and don't have the money to yeah, be out here I know that's like LA is so expensive like it's talk insane. about your job dude you you worked uh where'd you work at a breakfast place yeah I worked at um toast bakery toast bakery cafe um it was but I mean I swear God like was with me when I found this job because yeah. when I found this job I kid you not, I had a hundred dollars in my bank account. Like I was this close to going back to Jersey because I had nothing. Like no way. Because just moving out here and like I was looking for jobs, but like nothing was like no one was calling me in. Dude, that happened to me. And like I kid, you, I had like a hundred dollars, hundred fifty dollars in my bank account. Like nothing. I remember nothing. And I had like one resume left, and we went to Toast to eat. Yeah. And I, I even remember like going there and like being like, I can't, I shouldn't even, like, why am I eating out? Like, I can't even afford this. Like, yeah. why, why am I eating? And then like, I was with my friend Brianna Wu and she basically was just like, she was like, Franny, just handing your resume, like whatever. And I was like, oh, I have one left. It doesn't hurt. And I handed it in and they were like, oh, like, when can you come in? They were like, oh, we, we need waitresses. And like, when can you come in? I'm like, oh, I can come in this week for an interview. Went in and they hired me. Whoa. And yeah, it was like a Toast was like my saving grace. Like they're Damn. my like to this day, I still love them. Every time I go back, I love seeing them. I say hi to them. Um, but yeah, I was there for almost That's two insane. years. Yeah, it was insane. Two years. It was two years. That's so I crazy. Yeah, I was a waitress. Yeah. yeah, I remember like because one of the things that like not many people know about me is like I'm a fan. So I used to see like Bobby's vlogs and like Kim's vlogs, and I remember seeing you work at Toast, and I was just like, I thought she was a YouTuber, and like. Well, I well when I moved into the house with the guys, I worked at Toast. For well, I moved in April, May, June, July, August. I still worked at Toast for like five months. When Dang. I even and I started YouTube what in May or June. So I was doing YouTube and Toast for like three, four months. Yeah. And I and I didn't want to leave Toast because it was like my security blanket. Yeah. Because like you know I started. When it's I, yeah, it's like secure income. Yeah, because when I started my YouTube, I wasn't planning on even doing YouTube when I moved in with the guys. Like I moved in and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go to school and keep working at Toast. Like you know, I'm going to keep doing that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it just kind of, they're all filming and they're like, yeah, Franny, just like film videos too. And I'm like, you know what? Why not? Yeah. Like, why not? I yeah. love, I love beauty videos. I love fashion. Why not? So that's when I started doing it. And I didn't know how consistent YouTube was going to be with income yeah. and whatnot. So that's why I was like, I need to stay at toast. But it was the most insane, like three, four months. Cause I was like working at toast filming videos, editing videos, going to school. Like I was doing so much that summer. It was insane. Yeah. And that's such a huge leap of faith right there. Cause yeah. you're just like, and Bobby has it in a vlog of me calling my job and quitting. No way. Are you serious? Bobby has it on. Dude, he's let's a, call Bobby over. All right, Bob, come on over. Bob, come on over. <laughs> Dude, you walk so weird. Are you okay? Are you okay? Cappies. Hi, Cappies. Hi, baby. Right there. Yeah, it's in my vlog. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> it is in his vlog. He got it on camera when I called to put in my two weeks. Really? Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Step on in. And my last table that I ever served at Toast yeah. was Bobby, Kian, JC, Was Corey, that in the vlog? Yeah, he vlogged that too. Yeah. yeah. He vlogged it too, yeah. <laughs> what? What, like, when, when, like, they were making fun of you say? guys? That was funny. Oh, yeah. Do you want to... <laughs> Can I say the last part? Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so what's up, Bobby? Bobby, scooch in more. What's up? Bobby, scooch Whoa, in more. Don't manhandle me on the podcast. What? I don't know. Dude, we're getting nice okay, and this tight is, here. This is a funny story for her last, her last little yeah, thing. Yeah, they were my last table. Like okay. My last wait, final how long table. is the story? It's really quick. Okay, go for it's it. It's like a 10 second. Okay, so we're done. We're like, all right, friend, last table, <laughs> see ya, blah, blah. And she always wore this hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, time to get off work. And I take her hat off like, yeah. to like throw it. Yeah. But I take off her hat and then she had like a little like napkin wrapped up in her hat. <laughs> what? And it fell out. She was so embarrassed. I was like, well, everyone because, was like what is that <laughs> well i always put i always put a piece of tissue like in yeah. between my why uh, in my because i it would I, it would cause me to break out oh so i always put tissue there so, <laughs> so like I just embarrassed her and i'm like, like great you're up work and it's like <laughs> we're like what <laughs> what was that just fly out of somewhere yeah that was pretty funny dude yeah. that is insane but yeah they were my last and final table at toast and that was on the vlog yep yeah. yeah so Bobby right. has my whole life documented on his channel, basically. Yeah. Wait, I wanted to subscribe. mention, Bobby, what do you always say to Fran? Like, you're always like, Fran, you only. She owes like, me 20%. Yeah. 
Oh, 20%? 20%. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't yeah. gotten anything. Dude, I'm gonna leave without you. Okay, Bobby, you're What's the one up? who decided to come late. Okay, first off, I just started this podcast again. Bobby, Don't drag Bobby's, me. Okay, yes, I'm gonna drag you because Bobby's always late. Originally, Franny was like, "Oh, four o'clock." I was like, "Okay, perfect. Whatever. We have time to like. I have time to set up all that stuff." Then I told Bobby, I was like, Bobby, 4.30. But right before that, Bobby was like, I'll be there in like really soon. I was like, I don't even need to be here right now. Yeah. (laughs) What a great friend. You're such a good friend. He's like, I'll leave right now and make the movie. (laughs) F the podcast. He's like, F you, F your podcast. I'm out. What do you want to know? Um, so I was just wanting no, I was just wanted to mention this that, dude, I tell you 4.30, you have enough time (laughs) now. And you still came like 15 to 20 dude, minutes late. I had a shower. I don't like showering. Shower. Dude, the other day I called Bobby over. I was like, Bobby, like, I don't know what it was. What was it that we were supposed what? to meet up somewhere at church? He's like, I was supposed to see him in like, I don't know, 10 minutes or something like that. He's on the couch eating Cheetos, hot Cheetos. <laughs> oh. It was hot fries. They're good. Ew. Ew. Sorry. Anyways, what's all up? Right. Okay, so here's another thing I want to talk about. What's up? How'd you guys all meet? Well, I know you mentioned this in a mukbang, mukbang, whatever it's called. Yeah, I watched it. Very good mukbang. We oh, met well, at thanks. Keenan and JC's. Yeah. How'd you guys all meet each other? Well, when we were like, when we were about to like move in together, I barely knew her. We no. And we, JC was like the one who's like, yeah, like Franny's in too, and I'm like, <laughs> I guess I don't really know. Like I think her at I all. think when that when that was like a thing, like yeah. me moving in with them, I think I only met Bobby like twice. No, we ate the pepper yeah. together. Yeah, in oh, one yeah. of Keenan JC's videos, we had a like a we, hot pepper, but we yeah we literally met like two or three times yeah. ever. Yeah, and yeah, like, in our lives. And then we're like, just oh, moving we're in, together. moving in together. And that for, happened with me and too. And for me, it wasn't like I don't know. For me, it was like I was like ah like I I don't care because like I knew Corey Keenan and JC really well, yeah. so I was like, I guess not knowing one person's okay. Yeah, and and it's I knew also everyone like, too, and I just didn't know her. Yeah, 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 and it's like once like, you know, the friends that you associate with. They're pretty all similar. Like they're never gonna be like way off. Yeah, way off, hate exactly. Someone or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, dude, I was gonna ask you, what made you, yeah. dude? You're sure, sure. What is this ASMR? Like, sure. what are you trying to do? He's sure. Like, sure. He's like, sure. I like yeah. saying sure on podcasts. He likes saying that, and he likes sure. He likes to give a really low voice. That's true. Sure. sure. Ooh, okay. What were you? Gonna Anyways, say? what was your decision of like wanting to live with like a bunch of guys? Like, why were you like, all right, yeah, screw it, I'm gonna live with a bunch of dudes. Honestly, I don't know. I literally just said, screw it. Like, yeah. I'm going to live with a bunch of dudes. Yeah. Dang. It's either going back to. Yeah, it was either. Jersey. Yeah, it was like either going back to Jersey because it was like a, it was like a time where like, like there was just so much going on in my mm-hmm. life. Like I was having health issues. Like, really? Yeah, I had like a thyroid problem. I don't Dang. know if I ever talked about this on camera. I had like a thyroid problem. And basically from how stressed out, how, how I from how stressed out I was. And um, when I went back home to Jersey, they did test on me. And they, my doctor was really worried about me because he was like, your stress like is really causing your thyroid to like mm-hmm. just go like out of whack. Mm-hmm. I was gaining weight. Um, he was scared that it was going to turn cancerous. He, thought, he was scared. You know, they were That's like. That's our first conversation that we had. Yeah. She was really? telling me all this. I was like. <laughs> Go home. Like, like, wow. Go my, no, like go get it fixed. Like, <laughs> yeah, take take care of yourself. I literally, dude, when you just said that, I was like, wow, you're a really nice guy. Like, just go home. I thought you were gonna say like out of selfish reasons, like, yeah, thank no, God. Like, just like, go, like, He's like, you should get it checked care, out. But yeah, yeah take like, care of there were like just a bunch of issues like going on with my health and I but then I I don't know, I was just like, I've been through way too much out here yeah. just to go back to Jersey, like yeah. to give up. So I was like, F it. Let's do it. Yeah. Damn, yeah. that's insane. Can I ask what your first impressions of each other? I think we had this conversation, did we? Yeah, we cut it out of a video. <laughs> really? Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, why? Can I she, put it in the podcast? She really liked my muscles. No. No, our first impression, it was literally like we were at Keenan JC's house and she was talking about that. Yeah. And I was about like, About oh. muscles? No, no, about about my about problem. Her, like, oh, her health. And I, I think was like, he just oh. probably thought she was like, "Wow, this girl has a lot of issues." <laughs> and I was just like, "Whoa, like it sucks." Be, get better. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. So, what was your first impression of her, and what was your first impression? Well, of I her? think our first like impression like was like the hot pepper time that we like actually like interacted, interacted. and like bonded. I just remember yeah. him being just like I think just very smiley and happy and like mm-hmm. funny. I think it was just, yeah. It's all old me. He's just like sad now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, yeah, it's just like, oh, this is fun. This is cool. Do you guys She's miss cool, living with each other? Yeah. Really? And my I answer is that. no. 
<laughs> just kidding. No, it, yeah, it was fun. It was very fun. I miss. No, I, I think I said that. In, I think in the previous mukbang we did that. I do. I do miss living with Bob. What's a favorite moment between both of you guys? Like just like highlight. Probably hey. that passionate kiss that one night. That never happened. What? Oh wait, that was my dream. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, um, I feel wait. like there's so many. Yeah, there's good times. Obviously, so many. <laughs> I couldn't think of one. Bob. <laughs> no, there was so many in the house. It was because like. Did you guys bond the most? Yeah, um. I think I bonded the most with Bobby. <laughs> she bonded the most with me. Yeah. I bonded the most with Kian. Kian yeah. <laughs> and then her, well, JC t- and it's, Corey, everyone bonded. It was yeah. weird. Like it was a very good, like, like usually like in a house with like a lot of people, I feel like one person at least would be like, oh, don't talk to me. Or was there, everyone was, there? was very like, no, everyone was very, like, we we're yeah. very lucky. Well, the thing is, I feel like, like I was just no always, like that. we were just always all together. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, we we're just always in one room together. So it was like. Did you guys ever get tired of each other? Mm, not really like no, really? just every day we would like just all just sitting next to each other watching a movie or just or we'll literally all be in a room just on our phones like not talking to each other Damn, yeah we just i guess Pretty we just normal. liked each other's company how's it been living like away from each other now like do you enjoy do you enjoy living by your well you live by yourself do you enjoy that more or do you wish you're back at the house i don't know sometimes i'm like all right this is cool and sometimes i'm like dang there's no one around <laughs> What do I do? Just hear your echo. Yeah. How about you? Um, well, since I have roommates. Yeah, who's like, your, which ones do you like better? <laughs> you always ask First and third. Exclusive. No, it's, it's so it's so, it's so so different because living with girls mm-hmm. is a completely different vibe than living with four boys. You know, okay. like four guys is like, I, I don't know. It, living with girls, it's like, oh, like, let me borrow your clothes. Let me do this. Let mm-hmm. me do that. Da, 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 da. Um, but like living with the guys, it was just you know I couldn't ask. Well, actually, yeah. I did borrow their clothes. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Never mind. Probably. Sometimes she we like, go up to her room right now. <laughs> no, like usually when like <laughs> Key and or JC were like done with something, they'd give it to me, and I'm yeah. like, yeah, what's up, <laughs> Christmas? No, I'm not and kidding. then she would get some of the stuff, and I'm like, Franny, that's mine. That's supposed <laughs> oh, to be really? for me. I, yeah, I would I would go into Kean's closet, Bobby's closet, JC's closet a lot. I never never really went into Corey's closet. His room was very cold. Really? Yeah, it's hard, to get, it's hard to go in there. Really, it's very cold. Why is it so cold? Well, the thing yes. is, we never freezing. like Corey would would yes. be with us. Corey would be with us, but we were never in Corey's room. We were probably in his because it got so cold. Yeah, he really? was always like in my room. Yeah, we were always either in Bobby's room or yeah. That's bad I right. don't know why it was like the air was just pumping into there. Or something. In Corey's like, room, was, so we never freezing. went to Corey's room. Yeah, he would Dang. always have like a huge hoodie on because he was just frozen at all yeah times. He, I always I don't know feel, how he lived in there you know what's crazy I feel like I've always seen Corey with a hoodie on like I've never seen him on yeah he probably so cold from the house yeah, yeah. he's still like defrosting yeah, yeah it was so cold I felt so bad because I would walk into that room I'm like Corey what the heck like yeah I would have gotten pneumonia like day, day two <laughs> If that was my room, and it was almost my room, really? Yeah, it's scary. Are you glad with? Were you glad with your room? <laughs> if that was my room, yeah, I wouldn't be able to live in there. I would. Cap, not Cap would wake up with icicles, icicles on his nose. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like Cap, oh, ooh, they're together, like friends. What the heck? Wow, they're friends now. Yeah, I don't know about friends. Okay, I'm just gonna ask like two more questions, and then we're gonna end this podcast. He's like. All right, let's go. Yeah, because Bobby, okay, again, we have to go to a movie, and Bobby decided to be late, so not my fault. His I could have just gone to the movie, let's be honest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bobby, way to hurt my feelings. <laughs> that one stung. Um, yeah, it stung a little. Um, okay, well, dude, I don't have any more questions. I kind of like have everything set. Oh. But How long kinda, has it been so far? Um, I just need like 10 more minutes. Dude, 10 more minutes, let's yeah. get it. Yeah, but I don't know what else to talk about. All right. You talking okay. about any Disney stuff with her? Oh, dude, let's talk about that, dude. Thank you so much. You saved it. Let's okay. What's let's up? we just blessed. Okay, me and Bobby. That's right. Well, Bobby, Bobby did more because you talked to her. Oh. You talked to Franny more. Hey, but she's part of the Disney crew now. Yeah, just I got a that. annual pass. Have you gotten ever since the last time? No. Oh, <laughs> and I actually Sorry. was thinking about that today. I was like. I just got this annual pass and I haven't gone back. Like, gone come once. with us again. Yeah, I know. But Except that, don't, we haven't gone you guys either. haven't Except gone back either. Don't make fun of me this time. I didn't make fun of you. We, we bullied. We, we bullied him. You actually time. came up to me and said, Franny, thank you for not, you know, 
saying anything. Everyone else is bullying me. <laughs> no, you it, did, though. It's in my blog. No, it's I not. did. Is it? Yeah, you're like, oh, you're back there by yourself. Really? Oh, no, no. I think I said, <laughs> I, I think I said, he's my friend first. Oh, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, here's the thing. She okay. did it the least, I would say. Yeah, okay. The whole problem with going was to Was that Disney awkward for you? With a lot the of people. Whole night? Was that awkward for you? Why was it Expe- awkward? I don't know, like experiencing <laughs> me getting guy. bullied. Being, oh, you pissed. being bullied? No, yeah. he didn't get bullied. It's because Shut there was up. a there was an odd number of people. <laughs> Shut up. And so one person would have to sit alone every time. And most of the time was him. Yeah. Because he's a nice guy and he was like, no, I'll do it. You guys have fun. No. Okay. What? No, 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 no. no. It wasn't because of that. Nice. No. First off, this you know what this kid does? So he comes in. He's like, you know what, Sebastian? You're leaving to South America. You're leaving to Chile. Yeah. And I just... I wanted to go to Disney for you. And this is me and Jess. It's true. It. Me and Jess texted about it and we're like, let's go to Disney. Let's, every, let's get everyone together for Sebastian to celebrate him, be with Live. him, hang out with him. I have the text. Didn't I show you that? Oh, yeah, you did show it. So it's not a lie, first off. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, his whole thing was like, okay, it was for him, but then he was like by himself for most of the time. Most of that's Franny's fault. What? Because Franny would always be like, Bob, be with me. So I couldn't... Yeah, I didn't know anyone else. Why you know, wouldn't Sebastian. you sit with me? <laughs> I don't know. What the heck? See, it's her. She's yeah, the, it is the her. problem. Don't even give that to me. Yeah, she, not- she even said in your vlog, she's like, Bob's my friend first. I was like, oh, thanks. Well, See? I guess our relationship doesn't mean anything. That's her fault. And now it's she wants not- to do a podcast with me all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean to put you on the spotlight there. I'm just like, okay, well, <laughs> um, I have this annual pass now. Okay. And, and when are we going again? Oh. oh, dude, let's go. I don't know. Sometime. Can we go tomorrow? Don't you feel like it's gonna be packed? Yeah, tomorrow? Saturdays might be a little packed. Let's go Sunday. Yeah, but don't you feel like it's gonna be packed because it's a Labor Day weekend? Oh, no. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone has off on Monday, so they're gonna be like, "Let's go to Disney Sunday." What's your favorite part of Disney? Being with all of us? so far, hanging out with us at Disney was it fun? Yeah. Wow, I feel <laughs> like her life probably changed. Yeah. Wait, what, wait, what was the question? What was my favorite part of being there with you guys? Yeah, yeah, like now that you went with like the crew, you, you've gone with us twice though. She went with us when Christina was over. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But how was it with the crew? That's like the, yeah. Disney the new crew. Disney crew. Yeah, um, it was cool. That was, um, oh. I mean, I've met a few new people. Well, yeah, because she didn't know Jess and Gabe before. I did. Yeah, like I've never met them. Meeting. Really? Did yeah. you know about them before or no? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. I knew yeah, about them. Yeah, because I. I showed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bobby mentioned, uh, talked yeah. about Justin Gay before, and um, and I see them in your guys' mm-hmm. videos and stuff. But yeah. How do you ever feel? Do you ever, uh, how is it approaching new people all the time? Do you guys get nervous or do you guys are just like, what's up? My name's like Franny or what's up? My name's Bobby. Are you kind of just like in the back? How do you meet new people? Do you guys get nervous or no? No, I don't really get nervous. Depends who it is. Really? Like I was the other day at Toast, mm-hmm. um, ASAP Rocky walked in, mm-hmm. and I almost passed out. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I think if you meet new people <laughs> when you're with your friends, it's a lot easier. Yeah. yeah it is. Just because like you're already yourself. And Bobby yeah. introduced me to most of my friends. That's you right. did. You did. I like had Jess, Gabe, and then it was Bobby, and then Bobby was just like, "All right, here's everyone. Pick here's Franny. Here's Emily. Here's Nessa. Here's Nessa. Here's Veronica. Here's shoes. Yeah. He was literally like yeah, just picking shoes. I was like, she's cool. She <laughs> sucks. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I don't like hanging out with Fran, but yeah, uh, me neither. Fran, when did I? When did I, when did I, all right, I didn't, okay, I didn't know I was interviewing an ape right now. <laughs> can you do that noise? What? The, no, 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 I can't. I can't either. No one can do it. Oh, can I do it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can. Yeah, I can't do it. I do a you. I always go you. Oh yeah, that's the same. You, you, you stop doing that as much though. Uh, you know what it is? It's because I was in South America. And Don't blame that beautiful country. I'm <laughs> it's continent. <laughs> you just screwed up big time. Well, I, on the in podcast. my head, I country. thought you said Chile. Look, is Chile a country? Look, yeah. Look at both. Did you see Franny's face? Wait, Chile's a country. Yeah, but did you hear what Bobby just said? South America's a country. I know, but in, I thought you said oh, Chile. Oh, I thought. Oh wait, I thought you said Chile. No, he said South America is a country. That's oh. why I switched it right away without anyone telling me. What's up? Oh, I thought Nobody he saw I, my I expression. Thought, my I, thought he I thought says, Paris, or what I thought. Something. Oh my gosh, he thought that Paris. What was it? A, a country? I don't know. He, <laughs> oh no, or he, he still doesn't he know. He thought Paris was like no, in it, Germany or something. No, or you're like, like, oh, I'd love to go on vacation to mm-hmm. Italy, and I was like, yeah, I love Paris. 
Like, yeah, he, he thought Paris was in Italy or something like really? that. Yeah, he was. Where Paris, is it? Italy? Where? Paris, France. I've been there before. What's up? Oh. Just because you have a mustache. Okay. He cool. knows everything. Keeps all the secrets in there. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is where all my wisdom comes from. <laughs> the what? They shave it off. I'm oh, just you like, can oh. shave your mustache <laughs> off, Bob? <laughs> Mine? Yeah. Yeah, I, you can obviously see nothing. That means even when I had a mustache, Wait, you couldn't even tell. Would you look like... <laughs> so Bobby has this character. It's called Patchy McGee. Patchy McGee, yeah. Would you ever actually look like Patchy McGee if you grew out your mustache? Probably. No? Is your mustache thick? I don't know. Have you ever tried to grow it out? Thick. Takes a while. I can't really grow facial hair, to be honest. I feel like you can. You got stubble like there. Right here, I can. Yeah, Nothing try to grow it out. Here. Would you ever try to grow it out? <laughs> no, I tried like for a week once and I looked pretty rough. Oh. I just looked dirty. <laughs> It just yeah. looks like, what's that guy? Like, he needs a shower. He's like, yeah. is that a fly on your mouth or yeah. what? Yeah. whatever it is? <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty weird. <laughs> I'm still thinking about the, the video you showed me yesterday of Jim Carrey with the fly. Oh, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right, guys. So we're ending the podcast. Uh, dude, what did you think of your first podcast? I had a lot of fun. You enjoyed it? Yeah. I've been wanting to do a podcast for so long. How long have I I've been... Huh. How long yeah, have like I been a, saying it? Like two days. I probably, habit, yeah. habit, habit, no, for a while. I've been saying I want to do a podcast. I want to be on a podcast. Yeah, and and here, here we I go. Came in my stallion and my <laughs> wires and my... In my stallion. Yeah. Dream achieved. What's up? <laughs> Make a wish Thanks. foundation right here. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, okay. No, I'm kidding. Anyways, um, <laughs> I just want to say thanks to both of you guys for being in this. Franny, thank of you course. so much. I think your music, your story, uh, dude, I relate to your story a lot, which is crazy. And I hope a lot of other people relate to your yeah. story. Um, East Coast to West Coast. It's a hard thing to do. Not easy. Nope. I wish you the best of luck in your music. Thank your music you. Is bomb. Uh, dude, you're going to be the next Selena. I can feel it. I can feel it. I put That's a lot a of pressure on you. I'm I, sorry about that. I know. That. I'm like, shoot. <laughs> But uh, yeah, honestly, thank you so much for being on the podcast. You're an amazing person. Very thank glad to you. be your friend and all that stuff. Yeah. What are you saying, Bob? What? Bobby's just ruining an emotional I moment know. right now. No, and I'm not. Bobby, thanks for tagging it's along not. again. Hey, thanks, dude. You're he's he's just so helpful. He's just a I try. He's just a I smiley just McGee right here. I try. Positive McGee right here. So, anyways, thanks for watching the podcast, guys. We really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe. Do you guys have anything going on that you guys want to plug in? Yeah, subscribe to this channel, turn on post notifications, <laughs> um, because <laughs> this is just the beginning, baby. All yeah. right. Fandroid.co slash Bobby. Yeah. New I cases. feel like it's everywhere. Yeah, dude, mention your merch. New merch. Check it out. He's got phone cases. I guess I have to do the plug for him. Phone cases, shirts, joggers, shorts, backpack. Notebook. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> okay. How about you, Fanny? What do you got? Um, go. On. Go check out my new song, Crazy. Cool. On Apple Music, Spotify, iTunes, wherever you want to go. It's What's there. Up? Do a little sneak peek. Give it. Give, give it a little. Tip. I'm a summer D. I'm a summer C. S- sing a little note. I don't really know the words. I'm not gonna put it under pressure. I'm not gonna yeah, put it under pressure. I know. Yeah, that's why is... I did it. <laughs> Yeah. All right, it's a very good song. Everyone go check it out. It's linked Woo. down below. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace out. Do you guys know how to how I end my videos? No. Yeah, I do. Three, two, one. I go, ha. Huh. So, huh? yeah. Right. Three, two, one. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. We're going to do it again. Three, two, one. Ha. Ha. Well, that's a good one. See ya. <laughs>